friends, welcome to my channel. So today I have a scrapbooking haul. Um, it's pretty big, maybe average. I don't know. Um, I got a, I got a, a lot of good stuff. Okay. Um, I am <laughs> super excited to share it with you guys. Um, the order is from scrapbook.com. Um, I don't know if any of you are like this, but I have had some of this stuff in my cart for like months. Um, so for like two months, I just like add and take things away. And then when I was in quarantine for COVID, I finally pushed the purchase button. <laughs> um, and so this stuff came just yesterday. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and talk about, ooh. So first off, I'm going to talk about the free magazine that you get with scrapbook.com. So, um, each new magazine, you can get a free one with any order. There's no, um, like amount that you have to spend. As long as you're making a purchase, you can get the magazine for free. So always do that. <laughs> um, if I'm making an order and I haven't had, and I haven't gotten the magazine yet, I'm definitely getting it. Um, that's something that I always try to remember because it's, it's free. Um, and these magazines are loaded, loaded with inspiration. Um, and it's fun. You can look at this magazine free online, but it's, it's really fun to have like an actual physical copy in your hands. Um, and so I was really excited to get that. Uh, and it's free. <laughs> So, next up are my two stamp sets that I got. Um, this one is from Echo Park. Um, and the collection that it comes from, I think it's called Coffee and Friends. And this is from 2020. I don't ever even remember this collection. Um, and so, they didn't have everything available at scrapbook.com because it is, you know, a couple years old. Um, but they did have the stamp set and they had some other things that I got. I'll show you guys here in a minute. Um, but I love this one that says, I'm not addicted to coffee. We're just in a committed relationship. And my best friend and I meet usually about once a month for coffee. And we always take, well, there has been two times that we forgot to take pictures. But most of the time we get a selfie um, or a picture of our coffees. Or both. Because we're both scrapbookers. So I thought that this collection would be perfect to document those photos. And so I got that. I guess I'll just go ahead and jump into that collection. So we can like stay on task. <laughs> so here is this 12 by 12 sticker sheet from that collection. Again, it's called Coffee and Friends. Um, I'll try to link to these things down below. Uh, speaking of coffee, I have my coffee here. Um just made it. It's my second cup for the day, for the morning. <clears throat> um, but I just absolutely love the colors in this collection. The like sage green with the light blue and it, we've got some navy blue and that like light peachy pink color with the wood grain. It's just gorgeous. Um, this is like right up my alley. The little coffee pot here, super cute. And then all of the different like coffee cups and coffee mugs. I think this will be perfect for documenting that. So I got the papers that scrapbook.com had available and then the sticker sheet and the stamp set. I think there were two stamp sets, but I only got one. Um, and they did not have any of the like ephemera or die cuts um, for this collection. So just be aware of that. So that's the sticker sheet. I did pick up one of the coordinating, like, or two of the coordinating color cardstock from this collection. Um, I like that Echo Park does that. This is the front and the back. So that's what they look like. So you'll see here that I did get some papers I got doubles of because I liked both sides. So I really, really liked this one. And I believe this is the back side of that. Yeah. Um... So these are cut aparts. I thought that they were super cute. I love this. I have a little coffee station um, kind of like that. And so I thought that would be cute to have to document that. 
<clears throat> we have like a plaid with some flowers. Definitely got it for the plaid. There's lots of plaid in this collection. We've got some more cut aparts, which again are always super cute. Um, yeah, I love Echo Park Car cut aparts. They always have so many. Here's some more um, super cute. I love that green. We have another plaid. And I think, yeah, so this is the, this is one side of it. And then this is the back side of that. Um, namaste here and drink my coffee. I love that. Coffee and good friends make for a perfect day. Um, I love, I love all of these. I've got some florals. And the back side of that is like little letter boards. <clears throat> got this one with this fun paper with all of these different like little words and elements, just super cute. So that is the Echo Park Coffee and Friends collection that I picked up. Um, let's move on to the Doodle Bug My Happy Place collection. So I don't think that any of these collections are like brand spanking new that I picked up. Um, but I think that these next two collections are newer. Um, they're from this year. So first we'll start with the stamp set. I thought that this stamp set was super cute. Oh, and I'm looking at it now and there's actually a stamp missing. It says happy house warming. It's missing. It's not there. Huh. Interesting. Um, but anyways, I thought that these little houses were super cute and you can like build your own little scene. We've got like the little fence and the trees and the sun and the clouds um, and little like hearts and some flowers and little grass. Um, I thought it was super cute. So I picked that up. And then I also picked up the shape sprinkles. Um, these are just like enamel icons. They are really, really cute. Again, they have coffee um, and just some really cute little tiny icons. Um, I picked up the odds and ends from this collection. You get 160 pieces in these, okay? Um, first of all, I want to say Doodlebug always has obviously super cute things. But, like, their ephemera is more expensive, but you get so much, so many pieces in their packs of ephemera. Um, and a great variety of different sizes. There's small and there's large ones, there's medium ones. They're not just all, like, really giant or really small. And I love that about them. Um, and they usually, for the most part, also have a, like, floral pack as well, which usually has, like, florals and hearts, and then sometimes they'll do, like, little journaling spots and tags and labels. Um, so I also picked that one up, and this one has 95 pieces in it. Um, so lots, a good bang for your buck. Um, and then next, I got the two sheets of the mini icon stickers, and these are the stickers that you get in those. I, I love stickers. What can I say? Um, and these are super cute. So I picked those up. And the papers that I got from this collection. Um, got this one for this side. We have some cars on the back side. I got, I picked up two of these because, of course, it's got the rainbow stripe and then the flowers on the back. So I picked up one of or two of those because I like both sides. This one I should have got two of and I only got one, um, but it's little tiny coffee cups with hearts. And then on the opposite side, it's the same print that's on the coffee mugs. So like a, an aqua with a tiny black dot. This one is like all of the different icons on one sheet of paper. They always do that with their collections um, and they're really cute just to add nice pops. Um, and then we also have cut aparts. We have this green leaf 
paper and the plants, which I uh, I should have got two of these as well because Emily, my daughter, currently is into plants and she has four, I think now, three, three or four, three or four plants that she is like taking care of. Um, I think three are in her room and then one's in the living room and she is loving it. Um, if, if I would let her, she would go buy all of the plants, but I told her we're buying one at a time to not overwhelm her. <laughs> so she keeps, you know, she'll keep, she started with just one and she had that for like a month and we made sure that she was going to be able to like keep it alive, um, and take care of it. And then we moved on to another one and then we moved on to another one. And I think she has three. Um, uh, she's got lots of fake ones in her room, but I think she's got three live ones. So, um, she actually put more plants on her birthday list or her, yeah, her birthday's in August. So she was like making a list of things. Cause she said, you always ask me what I want for my birthday and I never know, but this year I have a list. I'm prepared. <laughs> um, so here's another cut apart sheet. This one has little tone on tone hearts with the border cut aparts, which I absolutely love. Um, and usually for doodle bug, I usually get the um, 12 by 12 like collection pack, which is the, all of the papers. I think you get two of every single paper and then you also get the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. But this time I decided to just pick the papers that I liked the most um, because I don't always love every single paper. And so I don't honestly need two of every single paper. Um, I love this one, how it has like the border around it. I like this one too. So I should have got two of those, but whatever, it's fine. We have another little tiny flower and then white tiny dots on a black background. And then we have a colorful plaid and the yellow with white polka dots. So yeah, usually I do get the 12 by 12 pack, but I decided not to for that collection because I do like a lot of it, but it, I didn't love every single paper. And I felt like with the ephemera packs, the stamp set and the sticker sheet, I didn't need the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Um, so I decided not to go with the big 12 by 12 pack. Okay, next up I have the Simple Stories Summer Lovin' Collection, which I believe this one is newer. Um, I think this one is like the newest one. So you get 63 pieces in their like ephemera pack. And here's what you get. I thought these were super cute. Um, I love that all of these icons are just summer related, right? So we have some like beach things like the little beach the beach ball and the sand bucket and the little beach um umbrella but then you also have like barbecuing stuff and a grill um and uh what else let's see like the little um watermelon and the cooler and the little baby pool with the foldable chair um so and like the little fireflies in the jar like lots of summer things that aren't just beach or just pool or just pool and beach it's like a very good variety of all kinds of summer things you've got a taco truck <laughs> which okay um an avocado which doesn't make me necessarily think of summer i eat avocados all the time but watermelon definitely makes me think of summer and then like ice cream and all of those things. So I thought that was super cute. And then let's see. I also got the journaling bits from this collection because I'm my idea is to to do um, some of my summer photos from this year. Um, but I also might document some summer photos from the past. Um, so I got those. I also picked up the puffy stickers, which is not something I normally get, um, but I just really liked all of these and I thought they were super cute. Um, again, it's a good variety. We've got the beach ball and the flip flops, which perfect. We've got the little fireflies, the hose, um, the water gun, sunglasses, sand bucket, camera, flowers. 
ice cream, all of the little just nice summer icons. And then I also picked up the sticker book. I enjoy sticker books when they're good quality. I haven't gotten a sticker book from Simple Stories in a while. So let's check it out and see um, how the quality is. All right, so they are they are a thinner sticker still, like they used to be. Um, the Heidi Swap sticker books are superb. Um, they are like my most favorite sticker books because they are like thick stickers. Um, I mean, these are okay, but I prefer, so we have the like borders. I prefer the thicker, <laughs> the thicker sticker. <laughs> um, this is cute. I like the navy. Awesome like labels. And I really, really like these. And these, I absolutely love using like tiny word phrase stickers. And we have a whole sheet of just florals and leaves, which is super fun. And then this is a great alpha as well. I like the size of it. We've got some more icons. Some like fruit. And some phrases. And then we have like the circle elements and that's it. So you get quite a bit in this. I can't remember how much it was, but you get a lot. But I just wish that the stickers were a little bit thicker um, because I, I was giving them another chance because I haven't bought one of their sticker books in a while um, just because I'm not super impressed with the quality, but I wanted to give them a try again. So we'll see how they work once I actually use them. So I'm just gonna show you guys here. Here are the papers. So you can see all of the different um, designs here. And then you also get the cut aparts, which are four cut apart sheets. And then you also get the sticker sheet. I do know that there is a glare, so you don't have to leave me a comment and tell me. <laughs> Um, I just want to keep it in the package because it's, that's, I'm not using it right now. And if it's not in a package, it's harder to store for me. Um, so it's easier like this, but yeah, th these are super cute. I absolutely love them. I also think that I can, you can see the little house here with a tree. I think that the stamp set that I got from Doodlebug will ac actually um, work with this collection as well. And... Yeah, so that is my haul for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know which collection um, you either have purchased recently or a collection that you want to get your hands on. I will have all of these products linked down below. Just open up that description box if you are interested. And if you are interested, check out my Patreon. It will also be in the description box. I would love to have you join me and my friends over there at our community. Um, and yeah, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to spread love and be kind. Bye friends.